Hey everyone, so today we're going to be a little more optimistic. Yesterday was a real downer, I think, for a lot of people who watched my video. <laughs> it was very depressing. Uh, even recording it, I was a little depressed. Um, you know, we were talking about Rift to Chaos and why the content is not good and whatnot. But today, I just wanted to bring two ideas that I had that could actually make this a quick fix for the developers, in, in my honest opinion. I've been talking to Ace, which is one of the community managers. Um, I will say that he he's also, he's kind of on the side of the community, although he, he works for the developers, so I'm sure he's on their side the most. But I think he understands that the community is not happy. They don't enjoy the content. It's overtuned, and I think he is communicating to the developers that this is pretty time sensitive. They they need to make a fix. I think by next update, which is next Thursday, right? They have a little bit of time. They got one week, and I don't even think people are going to be happy with that. But I know there's a lot of people that are waiting to see what happens next week. For me. I have two things that I want to see out of that update. The first one is, and I've confirmed this with, with Ace, he has told me that they are going to be releasing new heroes, right, that are going to exceed in this Rift dungeon. Some of that might upset you guys. Some of you might be excited about it. That's how these games work. If there's new content, they're going to release new heroes that are overpowered for it, and it will make it a whole lot easier if you have them. I get it, right? That's frustrating from someone's perspective who has been playing the game a long time, has a lot of existing heroes, and would like to use them in this new content. But he did mention that there are going to be epic options. That is very good. What I was talking to him about, and I've seen a lot of people suggest this, and I think this is honestly one of the easiest fixes they could do in order to mitigate the backlash of this content, is allow us to recall old heroes. We have invested in heroes that allowed us to progress in dungeons, right? A lot of ascension pots, mastery books... <laughs> All of those things, right? So if we can recall those heroes and allocate those resources into these new heroes that are going to be coming out or in heroes that we already know that are good in this Rift of Chaos dungeons, I think the community would would 100% be behind that change, right? Like, I have, <laughs> I have books right now in... Um, in goo bag, right? I have books in goo bag. I have books in uh, crazed Urzag. I have books in uh, Crixus. I have some books in Orchi, which isn't that bad. I have books in Baron. Like, I can recall those heroes in any of the new heroes that come out that are in the epics. I can use Ascension Pots in them. I can book them out to help me progress in Rift of Chaos. I think that is one of the easiest things the developers can do without even nerfing Rift of Chaos, right? I think everyone wants a nerf. I want it too. But at the same time, if they are going to release one or two heroes, maybe that gives us some accessibility. And I know a lot of you people are probably thinking, uh, well, what's the likelihood of that? And I know, I'm with you, but I'm trying to be the optimist right now, <laughs> okay? I'm trying to be the optimist. So that is one of the easiest things that they can do is have a recall at least, you know, for the next two or three months. Maybe it doesn't even need to be a thing, right? Maybe if it's just in the next two or three months, we're sorry that we did this. We're going to allow you to recall heroes however many you want for this boo-boo that we did. Sorry about that. I think the community would be behind that. The next thing is, and I I was going to make a video on my Lava uh, Colossus team, <laughs> but it was a six-minute run, 
and it didn't drop a relic. So if if they are not going to decrease the difficulty of these stages, right? If they're not going to decrease the difficulty of stages five and up, you need to make these relics guaranteed drop. Whatever, if it's a common or uncommon, you know, they need to drop at least because the raw stats could help us get into stage five. I know it's unlikely, but maybe the raw stats on the drops from stage three allow us to farm stage four, right? And get more uh, uncommon relic uh, drops instead of common. That's Those are the two fixes, and I think they're really simple. They already have the recall feature into this uh, in this game. They do it from time to time, but I think they need to apologize to the community and have it be a thing where you can recall, you know, five heroes, ten heroes, or something like that, or you can do it in a limited amount of time. Um, that that would be my suggestion. And then this, you have to guarantee these relics to drop, or if five is the gate, then you need to put rare relics in stage four. Because if those are the key, then we need better relics to drop on stages that we can farm that aren't easy. Stage four is not easy, <laughs> you know? I think a lot of people can stay, can farm stage one and maybe two, you know, most of the community. And then there are some people that can farm stage three and four. But at stage four, you should be able to get rare relics so the other thing that i heard was the developers had planned for this to take us a full year a full year to get to stage 12. i don't know who is thinking that we want to play this content and farm six minute farms on stage three for <laughs> what four months until we can farm stage five, six, and seven. And then we'll run into the same issues with, you know, nine to 12. I have zero idea who, who thought that that would be enjoyable. Um, so they, they, need, they need to cut that time in half. Like, we should be able to achieve this in six months at the latest. That, that's ridiculous. A full year to try and get to stage 12, you know. And that's, that's what will do it. I think if you put rare relics here and you guarantee the drops of either rare, uncommon, or common, along with a recall function, I wouldn't say all is forgiven, but 70%, that's what I would say. I'd say about 70% is forgiven. If you, if you let us recall heroes that we don't use anymore, they're outdated, they're completely unusable in rifts, let us recall those heroes and then allocate those resources to the heroes that are help us that are going to help us progress. So that's what I got, guys. Just a quick one. Uh, I'm going to try and get you an RTA video today or tomorrow. Um, we only got one day left on RTA, so I think uh, I'll have like one or two more RTA videos for you. So I don't know if we'll come today or tomorrow, but uh, that's what I'm planning on for you. And, uh, yeah, I just wanted to bring some optimism to today because I didn't have any yesterday. And that's, that's what I wanted to uh, let you guys know. That's what I think will solve this, you know, as a quick fix. You know, I've heard that the developers do want to decrease this, but they're really afraid of decreasing it. And they're also looking at just the amount of people that are playing this game mode. Um, where they can farm, and other feedback, uh, you know, areas of the game other than just Discord, which is, you know, where I see a lot of stuff for YouTube. So <laughs> that's what I got. Um, have a great day, and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.